All right. Hello. So today, we're going to be showing you how to draw and determine standard atomic notation for the element that you've chosen. Nitrogen. Yes, we've chosen nitrogen. So. You're going to start off by drawing the uh. symbol, which in this case is just an <coughs> X. Sorry. And then, you're going to draw the atomic number in the bottom left corner of the symbol. Which is the number 7. Yes. And the mass number, can you tell me what it is? I think it is 15. Well, it would be 15, except the... If you look on the periodic table, then it's actually 14. Is oh, okay, I got it. Thank you for clarifying that. And an easy way to remember which one goes where is that the smaller number is always going to be on the bottom. Oh, that's a good idea. Which is the atomic number. And the number in the top right corner, top left corner, is the mass number. So does this work for every single one? With it the sure does. And top? All right. Well, thank you. All right. There's the element number. Perfect. So, Matthew, how do you make a Bohr-Rutherford diagram? Well, it's quite simple, Gage. What you're going to do <laughs> is you're going to draw the nucleus in the middle like that. All right. And so we're still going to be doing nitrogen. So the amount of protons in the nitrogen is the same as the atomic number, which in this case is 7. And if you want to find out the amount of neutrons, you take the mass number, which is 14, and subtract the protons. So 14 minus 7 is 7. So in this case, we have 7 protons and 7 neutrons. Okay. And a trick you can use here is that the amount of protons is always going to be equal to the amount of electrons. So for the electrons, you're going to draw one orbit around it. And you're going to draw only two electrons in the first orbit. And they're always going to go at the top like that. So why is there only two? Well, in the first orbit, there's only going to be two electrons. But in every orbit after the first one, you can draw eight electrons total in it. Oh, okay. So here's the second orbit. And if we've already drawn two, then that means we have five more to draw. So the order you're going to draw them is, is you're going to start at the top. All right. There's one. Okay. There's two. Okay. There's three. All right. There's four. Okay. And once you get all the way around the second orbit, then you're going to draw another one right beside it. All right. But in this case, we only need to draw seven electrons, and we already have them all. So we're just going to stop there. Okay. So why can't I draw two right here and then draw two down here? Well, I guess it would make sense, but in the Bohr-Rutherford diagram, that's just the way he intended it to be that you're going to go around and draw one in each spot until you have eight total. All right, that sounds smart. Yes, it does sound smart. Cool. So, Matthew, what is an electric dot diagram, and how do you draw one? Well, an electron dot diagram was created to show you how many valence electrons are in an atom. So we're going to stick to nitrogen here. So I'm going to draw the symbol for it, which is N. Okay. And do you remember how many valence electrons there were? No, I don't. Well, the valence electrons are the outermost electrons on the Ruther bohr ruther ford diagram. Oh, okay. And a cool trick to knowing it is that if you look in the columns, in columns 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17, if you take off the 1, the other number will show you how many... Electron, valence electrons there are. So, nitrogen, what column is that in? Um, is that in column 15? It sure is. So, we're going to draw 1, 
two, three, four, five. Because if you take off the one, there's five valence electrons. Okay. And so, the way you're going to do this is say we had a different element and there were eight valence electrons. Then again, you just keep drawing more until you got two on each side. Okay. But for this one, we only have five. Okay. Wow. So that sounds pretty easy. Yeah, it's really not that hard. You just got to know where to draw them, which is quite simple to learn. All right. This video is brought to you by Matthew and Gage Productions. Have a great day.